over the years, I have bought an unhealthy amount of vehicles off of Facebook Marketplace. Some I'm really proud of, some uh, very disappointed in. They were bad buys, but it is what it is. Through the process of all my purchases, I've learned a few tips that I'm gonna share with you today on buying and selling cars on Facebook Marketplace. So let's get right into it. Starting with selling a car on Facebook Marketplace, these are my three tips that I would recommend everybody do. Step number one, take as many pictures as you can. Unfortunately, we live in a society where not only is the willingness, but also the capability of reading getting fewer and fewer. So people would rather look at pictures than read what's in the ad description. So take as many good pictures as you can. Video also helps. Make sure they're good pictures. Clean the car up. Make sure the interior is cleaned up because you want your product to look good in those pictures. Tip number two, don't let the product get stale. See, Facebook, like all the other social medias, operates on an algorithm, right? The older a vehicle is on Facebook Marketplace, not certainly the age, but the older the listing is, the less attention it's going to get. That's why when you list a vehicle initially, you'll get a lot of messages in the first day or two. After that, it's gonna drop off dramatically. So what I always do, if the car hasn't sold after probably four or five days, Delete the listing altogether and relist it as a brand new ad and you will get more attention that way. This is a very similar concept to what a lot of dealerships do, right? They will rotate the cars around the dealership because they don't want the public perception to be, you know, nobody is buying our cars. You want your product to stay fresh on the market so it incentivizes more people um, to be interested in it. Now tip number three, this is something that I learned recently and have been having a lot of success with, is advertise that you will block lowballers. See, I've gotten to the point where I'm so fed up with lowballers. Initially, I was just straight up bullying these people. Somebody hit me with a significantly lower offer, like if I had a car listed for four grand and somebody offered me two, I was saying some really mean and nasty things, which had consequences. That's why I have a really bad review rating on Facebook Marketplace. It's not a good thing to do. I don't uh, recommend that. Uh, but just straight up advertise like, hey, if you lowball me, I'm going to block you. And then follow through with it when they do. When I do this, the amount of lowball offers I get uh, is very, very low. I mean, I used to get uh, probably 80% were lowball offers. Now, probably I get one or two out of 50. So it's a very effective method, definitely recommend that. Now three tips when it comes to buying a car off Facebook Marketplace. Tip number one is gonna be learning to read tires and make sure you're paying attention to them. This is especially important if you're looking at an all wheel drive or four wheel drive vehicle, because to me, buying new tires is probably one of the least exciting things about owning a vehicle. So it's not uncommon for people to be neglectful towards that. So you want to make sure all your tires are matching when you're looking at the vehicle, when they're mixed match. Uh, to me, it's a red flag that the car probably wasn't taken care of. And uh, especially with the all wheel drive situation, it could lead to premature transmission failure later on down the road, right? If you buy a vehicle, the tires don't match, they're all different heights, uh, different tread patterns. Two months after you buy the vehicle, if the transmission explodes, you can guarantee there's not gonna be any warranty on that, right? Especially if it's a used car on Marketplace. So make sure you're paying attention to the tires because it will save you a lot of headache. Tip number two, easy fixes are not easy fixes. This is so common to see on Marketplace in the description, right? They're like, oh, it's a good car, just needs an alignment. No, it doesn't. It needs way more work and they're lying to you. It's the same thing with like electrical stuff, right? If it's just, oh, it just needs a sensor. I have the parts, five minutes to install it. It's, it's way more complicated than that. They're not going to tell you uh, because you know they don't want to get hit with a low ball offer. So always, always, always make sure you're paying attention to when people are trying to downplay a problem because nine times out of 10, it's more severe than what they're making it out to be. And then my last tip when it comes to buying a car on Facebook Marketplace is First come, first serve. What I mean by that is stop trying to negotiate through messages. So many good purchases I've gotten have come from the fact that when I message somebody right off the rip, I'm just trying to get their address so I can be the first person there. Like the, the red Honda Civic that I bought earlier this year. I got that car for a steal because I was the first person on site with cash. So if you are a serious buyer that really wants the car, Stop playing the message game and do everything you can to get the seller's address so that you can be the first person there. 
I'm sure we're all adults, which means that we're probably all familiar with the saying, money talks, bullshit walks. So get to the seller's address, do your thing. So those are my tips when it comes to buying and selling a car on Facebook Marketplace. If you agree or disagree with any of them, feel free to drop it down in the comment section. Also, if you have any tips of your own, spread the information, guys. Don't gatekeep. Outside of that, I'll see you guys in the next video.